what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're embarking on two final episodes of viking season five as you guys already know i'm not particularly happy with how this season is going two episodes left and i'm not excited to see it <laughs> you know what i mean like i'm just not excited to see the two last episode but somebody did comment on last one says season six is better so i'm gonna look forward to that but anyways we still gotta do these two episodes i don't think i'm gonna do both of them in this one sitting but if it's exciting enough i will if if you know what i'm saying that like there, there were just too much open open holes in, and plot holes in even the last episode. It was like, what's going on with, with Lagatha? What, what happened? Are we going to get an explanation for why she went missing? Like, nothing. There's just so much that's left to the imagination for the viewer. You know what I mean? And that's where I'm just looking at it and I'm like, there's nothing interesting about what's going on right now in the series other than the Ube storyline. Like, What's going on with Floki? Not that interested in it. I guess you could learn some lessons. You know what I'm saying? I did talk about it, you know, in past reactions where I talked about, like, it's kind of like um, that storyline is, is more of like, it's like a teachable moment, you know, as in the cycle of how uh, the cycle of hatred. Once you introduce evil, it's kind of like the whole thing with the bible with the with the bible it's like once evil was introduced when sin was introduced to the world that's when everything just went to hell <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like the same thing it's like once the pure hearted become evil once evil introduced into a, a into a, if i should say a pure society it's just this continuous cycle that keeps going that is hard to cut that get that back into what it was before the world that we live in we live in today so from that that's what i could take away from that the situation that's going on with fitzirk um decided to join up with king olaf to go take i'm wondering what's going to happen now because are they going to join up with with king harold and bjorn or are they going to attack ivar separately Regardless of it, I don't think Ivar has the manpower for these two armies that are coming at him. So, I guess we'll see what happens with that. Ube is about to do this one one v one with this other dude. You know what I'm saying? So that you know, because he's offered them settlement. These Danish guys, right? He's offered them settlement. Um, but one king said, "Oh, I don't want that." So um, Ube. Uba, Uba, <laughs> Uba, um, decided to challenge him to a to single combat. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, let's jump into this reaction and let's see how this goes. Episode nineteen of season five. Yeah, I may have said everything I wanted to say <laughs> at the end of the episode. You know, I should have stopped it and did all of that during the review, but it's okay. You know, you guys know what you want. You hear for to hear my opinions and things. I just think that is it is so weird that you have all these people that believe in the same gods. It's just like nobody ever stopped to think. I think Ragnar was the only one that ev that really ever stopped to really question that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you know if we're serving the same god do they want us to be fighting against each other like which gods pit their pit their people their minions whatever you want to call yourself worshipers pit your own people against each other like why would they do that why are why do we have this one over here saying you know the gods are going to protect us they over there saying gods what do you think they're doing like i would be sitting down saying i know they think that odin will protect them but Odin doesn't like them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, at least dialogue like that would help me to understand their mindset. But there's no dialogue like that. I'm not saying that they should say stuff like that in the show. I'm just saying, like, there should be some profound inner thought by someone, <laughs> you know. But that's just my opinion. Anyways, this was a... I, I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed this episode 
as I said, the first five minutes of the episode, it blew my mind in a bad way. In a bad way, because why? How? What happened to Judith between the end of last episode and this episode? What happened to her? You know what I'm saying? She just died? She died of old age? What was it? You get what I'm saying? They just killed her. As I said, I keep saying that maybe I missed something, but maybe I did. Maybe it's because I haven't reacted to this in a week. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm like, did I miss it? I'm really questioning. I'm really trying to figure out if I actually missed something here because I must have. Because there's no way. I was like, they really just killed Judith without no explanation. No, at least they, at least they, they showed us what killed Aether Wolf. You know, this time they're just like, oh, she killed her son, so I guess she just deserved to not be in the show anymore. Weird plot line to go with. Um, Floki's storyline, I'm kind of a little bit intrigued to see where this goes with him. Um, he went all the way deep into the cave to find a cross. What does that mean? I don't, I don't know what that means. But I guess we're going to find out at some point. He, he looked like he wandered into a volcano too. Which is weird also. So, um, Ube, Uba, finding, you know, inner peace. And as I said, you know what I'm saying? I could have predicted that. I could have predicted that there's some, there's going to be some conflicting, conflicting things with his fate after he asked for Odin's help. And, you know what I'm saying? He won the fight. Of course, now he's going to be like, you know what I'm saying? You know, pretty much what he said in the episode. You know what I mean? Like, there's a bit of clarity there as to who he's serving. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I never thought he really, like, transferred to being a Christian. You know, I, 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 I never thought that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's never, it's never um so dry cut with these guys when it comes on to the switching of faith. When you talk about maybe Rolo, you know what I'm saying? I would say Rolo is the only one that dove deep into that stuff. I don't think anybody else, you know what I'm saying? When you're talking about Ragnar, remember Ragnar was baptized and all this stuff, you know? So in in my opinion, I think Rolo is the only one that really like, you know, like dove deep into the whole Christian thing and, you know, he's converted. He still believes he's Viking. So, you know, it, it a little thing about the, 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 um, the religious, aspects of the show it can be very clear-cut and it can be very confusing at times i think somebody described it in the comment section on the last video essay <laughs> the vikings has been this one long acid trip <laughs> you know that was funny but you know it's just i think this episode the rest of it was pretty cool though the um the single combat uber and whatever his name is that was pretty cool to see um, also, you know, um, the, um, Uba's wife breaking up that fight is like fight after I agree fight after, you know what I'm saying? I don't think King Harold is going to win, but it is what it is. So now they've met up with, with Uber. So, um, so we have the two of them joining up now, Bjorn and Uber has joined together. I don't know what is going to be the fate of Magnus. Now that Bjorn is kind of watching him is like, Oh, you trying to play me? You know what I'm saying? Cause that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, you might be sitting out here like a lot of people. I see this happen to so many people who are proclaimed atheists. You know what I'm saying? And if they're about to die, if you see them in a, in a, in a situation where, they're about to die. The first person they call on is God. You know what I'm saying? Please, Jesus, save me. Jesus, save me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just weird to me. It's just weird to me when I see people do that. And I'm like, I thought you didn't believe in God. Like, why are you calling out to him? <laughs> you know what I mean? But I don't know if it's a reflex. I don't know if, like, you, you know, I don't know if it's a reflex. I don't know if that's just the fear talking. I don't know what it is, but it's just it happens all the time with people. And I'm like... But those words shouldn't even come out of your mouth if you do not believe in it. You get what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I guess, you know, a lot of people there just pretending because they probably think being an atheist is cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not an atheist. I believe in something, but that's not, 
you know what I'm saying? I try not to push. Sometimes I will talk about that stuff on the channel, but for the most part, I don't because I don't want to get into a religious debate with anyone. As I said, I've always opened the door if people want to discuss that stuff with me. There's always, you know, I don't consider that something I would want to discuss even on a live chat. But if you want to private message me on Discord or something and you want to discuss that, if you're an atheist, if you are, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, like, or whatever else you believe in, you know what I'm saying? And you want to have a, a debate, a discussion or whatever, you know, about what I believe in versus what you believe in. I'm not afraid to, to discuss that stuff because, but it has to be in private. I try not to discuss that stuff on a public forum. Like here, I will say certain things, but I'm not inviting a discussion on a, you know, on a public platform. Sometimes it does come up because it's, you get what I'm saying? But other than that, you know, I'd rather discuss it in private. But if you don't want to hear it, you can always fast forward through what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. But in any case, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in for this Vikings episode, man. We got one more episode to go for the season. I want to see how they wrap up the season. I, as I said, there's nothing. They're not doing anything exciting for me to be like, okay, to watch the next episode. Else I would have just watched it for, for this. But, you know, I have other shows that I have to react to. So... That's what keeps the, the momentum going. Last time I did four episodes of The Walking Dead because it was just so good. It was just so good. I used to keep going to dialogue. Everything that was happening in the show at the time, I just really enjoyed. I want to see what happened next. What happened next? Vikings is just not doing that for me right now. So in any case, thank you guys so much. Make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section. And also, subscribe if you are new. If you are enjoying the content on the channel, man, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. And also, hit that notification bell so you know things are up. We're going to start Season 6 after the next one, hopefully very soon. So, again, thank you. My gratitude is never going to be enough. I'm going to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. Okay. Later, guys. Peace.